Well, this jaw dropping video has a Buffalo judge facing a lot of criticism tonight, showing him shoving a police officer during a dispute with his neighbors and threatening officers with his connections to the mayor and police officials. And that judge was never charged with anything. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. That police body camera video first surfaced on a law blog earlier today, and we have spent the afternoon trying to get more information on exactly what happened in it. Here's two on your sides, Claudine Ewing. An ongoing neighborhood feud got nasty in June. It involved state Supreme Court Judge Mark Rosanti and his wife. Take a look at the police body camera video we Listen, obtained like under the Freedom of Information Law. That's the judge that without a shirt. We have time. muted much of the sound because of the foul language. But there is a lot of back and forth between the officers and the Grisantis who were shouting at neighbors and vice versa. An officer tells the judge's wife to stop yelling. Stop yelling. This is going to be a problem for you. I don't care. Okay. Eventually, a Buffalo police officer has Mrs. Grisanti on the ground and he handcuffs her. The judge, obviously not pleased, starts shouting. Hey. I'm not doing this right now. Hey. He then shoves a police officer and another officer tells the judge to keep his hands off of a cop. The Grisantis were detained but never arrested. The district attorney investigated no one was charged. One reason is the officer did not want to press charges. When we asked the Buffalo police why, because if the average person shoved or pushed a police officer, they would likely be arrested. The department says it was a discretionary call made by the officer. He wasn't punched or tackled. We reached out to the judge for a comment, but he is not allowed to speak on the matter. However, his lawyer did speak with me. Does he recognize he probably should not have put his hands on a police officer? Oh, absolutely. In, in hindsight, you know, but it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, he sees his wife being, you know, taken down to the ground. In Buffalo, Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.